How's it going, Little Break TCG? This is Corey with a deck profile. Um, we are in the EX7 BT16 17 BT17 meta um, format. So um, I have a deck profile that I've been really, really, really excited to mold and to play and to build. Uh, for a long time now, uh, ever since its release, um, the original release, I enjoyed the deck. It's actually one of my favorite decks to play in the whole game. Um, and then it just got support with EX7 uh, in the form of a lot of, lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's uh, Dragon Links. It's it's Volcanic Dramon and uh, uh, Metallic Dramon. And, you know, stuff like that with a little bit of, you know, of course we have to have Dorbrick in there um, for uh, some cheeky stuff. But anyway, uh, I want to dive into the deck profile because I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, like I said, Dragon Links, I've been, I've loved Dragon Links ever since EX3, I think it was, 3 or 4. I want to say it, it might have been 3. Um, I've loved the deck. I love the thought of it. The only thing I didn't like is how reliant it was on the Hina, it still is reliant on the Hina, and we didn't get a new Hina, but old Hina is just fine. She works uh, perfectly. Um, we do have a lot of search for her. It's just, it's kind of, it kind of sucks to have you know one of those decks where you need to see a card for it to really run. And that is completely what this deck is. You, 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 you really have to see that Hina for the deck to really, really, um, you know, hit the ground running. Other than that, deck's super fun, super fun, and super fun. Um, you know, bold, parentheses, quotation marks, fun. Um... But, I mean, that's just me. I mean, like I said, I, I love the deck. Uh, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite archetypes to play uh, since the game came out. Uh, but anyway, let's dive right into the deck profile. We have four Koromon uh, for BT14. You know, it, it's it's the best red egg. Um, it says, uh, when a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, uh, draw a card on your turn. So, it could be the card that's attacking. It could be um, something else that's attacking. If this is... A, if this is a, a source, you know, it'll see the removal, draw a card, um, all that good stuff. Uh, it just has to be on your turn, and your opponent has to lose a life in any form of fashion, and you will draw uh, a card. So, and then our last egg, just to have a fifth egg, is Garymon. If we swing with something with 6k or more, it draws a card just to give us extra draw power. Um, which is really what we want. Like I said, we want to see our Hina. We want to draw and search for that Hina and play it as quick as we possibly can. And, uh, you know, drawing helps us do that. Next, we have a new card, uh, Vorvalmon uh, from EX7. It has Inheritable, gives 2k to the Digimon on your turn. And then on play, you may reveal the top three cards of your deck. You can add one Rock Dragon, Earth Dragon, Machine Dragon or Sky Dragon in its traits and one Hina among them to your hand or turn the rest to the bottom of the deck and, and, and you know so this lets you grab one and one it lets you grab uh, any of the any of the dragons because uh, the baby dragons are rock dragons um, the these baby dragons are rock dragons the bigger ones are herb dragons uh, the black cards, the baby is Machine Dragon, the Metallic Dramon Sky Dragon. So this basically lets you grab all of them, uh, and, and the Hina, uh, one and one. So, and then lastly we play just one of the old Vorvo, uh, basically just, it kind of just to get rid of things that, you know, floodgates that might stop us. Um, whenever you play a Hina, delete something 3k or less, and then Inheritable when you attack. If it has an on play, delete something 3k or less. So this is just kind of getting rid of our floodgate uh, problems on the board. Uh, next we run four of the new Jazzermon. 
Uh, inheritable on your opponent's turn gives 2k, so this one gives your 2k on your turn, this one gives you 2k on your opponent's turn. Uh, start of main phase, I really, really like this effect. Really, really like this effect. Uh, start of main phase, by trashing one rock or earth dragon and its traits from your hand, draw one and gain a memory. So, again, draw. Consistency, we gotta see Hina. We don't mind pitching one of our red cards because all of our red cards is an Earth or a Rock Dragon. We don't mind pitching that because we can recur it later. I'll show you guys that. Um, but we gain a draw and we gain a memory. So this is really good. Love this card. Um, and then of the rounding off the rookies, we play three of the old one. Uh, all turns, inheritable. If it has an on play, uh, gets 1K. So it's basically... Instead of just your turn or just your opponent's turn, as long as you have an on play, all turns you get 1k. Um, and then for the main effect, uh, it's basically letting our Hina's cost 2. If you play a Hina, uh, gain 1 memory. So, you know, that kind of helps us just play Hina's for, for cheaper. Um, if we do an effect that says play Hina just for free, because we do have a couple of things in there, I'll get to that soon. If we have a card that says play a Hina for free and this is already on the field somewhere else, uh, we'll draw when we play that Hina. And not draw, we'll uh, gain a memory when we play that Hina. So th that's basically what this is in here for. Um, I did have it at two new, two old of these two. Uh, I decided for this one because, again, it makes Hina cost less if you do play it. Um, other than that, you know, getting rid of Floodgates, Searcher, you know, and then uh, for our new level, for level four, so we play three of the new Lava Vorvamon. Lavorvamon? Lavormon. Lavorvamon. Okay. Man, these days. We got Vorvamon, Lavorvamon, Lava Garitamon. So we'll get there. Um, so on play, return a Machine Dragon or Sky Dragon or Hina. Actually, I think it's both. Uh... Return one card... Oh, it's or. Okay. Return one card with Machine Dragon or Sky Dragon trait or one Hina from your trash to your hand. So this lets us grab back our Hinas if they've been trashed or destroyed. Um, it also lets us grab back our Black uh, Dragons if we need um, for other, you know, cheeky stuff later on in the game. And then Windage Evolving, if we have one or fewer Tamers, you may play a Hina without paying the cost. So this helps us play Hinas for free. Uh, Inheritable, 2k during your turn. And then we play three of the old. Um, this has, uh, when attacking, if it has an on play, delete something with three care or less. Again, getting rid of floodgates. Uh, and then on play, uh, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add a Digimon with Rock Dragon, Herb Dragon, Bird Dragon, Machine Dragon, or Sky Dragon. So we added Bird Dragon in there. I don't know really why, but um, maybe it's for other stuff. Um, and it's traits and one Hina from your hand, to your hand, place the rest at the bottom. So it's basically this, just uh, you reveal one extra card. So this reveals three, this reveals four, and you grab uh, one and one. And then uh, going to our black level fours, we play four of the new one, no, three of the new one. Uh, it says on play uh, by trashing a rock dragon or earth dragon in your hand, uh, draw two. So, again, draw two. That's our consistency. Uh, and then when digivolving, kind of like our first uh, little Vorvalmon, uh, when digivolving, if you have one or less tamers, play a Hina for free. And then we also play, we play three of all, all of them. We play three new, three old, three old, three new. Um, so this one, all turns, again, kind of like our, our baby. Uh, all turns, if we have it on play, we get 1K. And then on play, just like this one, top four, grab a rock dragon, herb dragon, bird dragon, machine dragon, sky dragon, and a Hina to your hand, and then put the rest at the bottom. Grabs one and one. They all they all pretty much grab one and one, um, to my knowledge. Uh, as far as like when you're revealing the top, grab something. Um, if it's grabbing from the, 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 the trash, it only typically grabs one or the other. So that's it for our level fours. No, sh no shade, Dramon. I know, I, I know, y'all are probably thinking, well, if you know he plays Dorbic, why not shade Dramon and go into some Ragna? Um, so shade Dramon kind of locks us. Um, it can only evolve on red rookies. 
And being that we're only playing five red rookies, we really don't want to get locked into that. Um, I could keep it in hand and then just put it under the Dorbic to go into our Ragnar if we need. But still, it's the deck is already kind of tight as it is, and I just don't want to lock myself out of a Digivolve if it comes to that. So that's why we don't play the Shader Mod. Uh, going to our level fives, we play only one, just one, of the new one. Uh, it says on play, delete one of your opponents level six or lower. I'm not level six, uh, six K or DP or lower. And then when did you evolving? If your opponent doesn't have a Digimon with six P six thousand DP or less, gain a memory. So if we've deleted something and they no longer have something six K or uh, less, or if if they um, if we did evolve and they just didn't have something six K or less to begin with, we'll gain a memory. And then uh, inheritable security attack plus one. It's always nice to have. Uh, our old ones, we play three um, purely because of the inheritable. A lot of deletion going on with this deck, as you guys see. Um, and then on the inheritable, when we d delete something, all turns, by the way, it's all turns. When we delete something, we gain a memory if it, uh, if this Digimon has an on play. Yeah, when a opponent's Digimon is deleted, if this Digimon has an on play, which typically it does, all of our... Um, all of our level 6s actually have on plays, I thought I'd think about it, because Dorbic does too. Um, if it has an on play, gain a memory, so this kind of helps us just gain a memory. Um, uh, when we delete something, and then also on play, delete something, 5k or less, and then ma uh, we may play a Hina uh, completely for free uh, as it's on play. So this also plays a Hina for free, um, and then, you know, kill something, and... Um, you know, for the inheritable, like I said, let's just gain memory. Uh, going to our black level fives, we play four of the new one. Purely, and then again, kind of like this one, purely for... The main effects are good too, but purely for the inheritable. What the inheritable is, is opponent's turn. When any of your opponent's Digimon attack, you may change the attack target to this Digimon. It's redirect. We love redirect. I play Tyrant Kabuteri Bond with Izzy. Has a lot of redirect. I'll show you guys that deck profile uh, either before or after this. I really don't know what order I'm going to put these in. Uh, I, have, I have a couple of profiles to do anyway, but I don't know what order it's going to be in anyway. Um, so it, it changes the attack target. We love that. Um, on play, did you evolve, did you evolve one? And then when did you evolve? If your opponent has no level five or lowers, uh, gain one memory. So you know, gain memory, gain memory. If we uh, if we beat the conditions, um, if the conditions are met, typically it's you know costing two to evolve. Really, if we if they have no um, floodgates stopping us from gaining memory, which like I said, usually our lower level um, Vorvamon and you know the stuff that deletes three um, K or less or six K or less or five K or less usually takes care of the floodgates. Um, so this kind of, you know, just helps us kind of get, uh, a cheaper Evo if we meet the requirements. If not, it's cool, you know, doesn't matter. Um, and then our last level five, we play one of the old Jazzardmon. Um, Jazzit, 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 yeah, Jazzit, Uh, on play, did you evolve one of your opponent's Digimon? And then you may play a Hina, uh, from your hand without paying the cost. So it's basically this one. Uh, Laval Ravon, delete something 5k or less, then play Hina. This one, digi digi Digivolve something, then play Hina. And then it's on of it's, a uh, it's, a uh, Inheritable. It is your turn if it has an on play, gain security attack plus one. So it's kind of like this, if it has an on play. Like I said, all of our level sixes have on plays. Um, if we're in Ragna, that's kind of the only time we'll lose that and that as well. Um, because the Ragna doesn't have the long play. But it's fine, all of our level sixes do. Uh, most of the time, we're hitting our, our inheritables from these three cards, uh, four cards. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then, you know, I like the old one. I like the, the foil of the old one, to be honest with you. Um, but this card is super, super good. And then I'll also go over changes at the end of the... Any changes that I would make uh, at the end of the video. Um, honestly, I wouldn't make many. Uh, going to our level 6s, we play two of the new Volcanic Dramon. So this is pretty wordy. Let me explain. Um, so on play and when attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. 
And then when did you evolve? I mean, did I, uh, on play when attacking. D delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a lower ZP. It's when Digivolving is your opponent can't play or move Digi uh, 6K DP, Digimon with 6K DP or less until the end of the turn. So the moving is... Um, it, it's basically, you know, they just got to save words. They can't move from the breeding area. They can't uh, promote from the breeding area to uh, if it's level if it's six k or less, which is most um, pretty much all rookies and most level fours. Um, so typically, they have to go to a level five to be able to move it out. Um, so and then all turns when it would leave the battle area, other than by my own effects, I may. Play one Digimon with Machine Dragon or Sky Dragon from my hand without paying the cost. This plays our Black Dragons for free from hand. Remember from hand. Okay? These, when they leave the field at all, except for our own effects. So if we're Dorbicking and he leaves the field and he goes under the Dorbic, it does not count. If it leaves the field by your opponent's effects at all, bounces, uh, Minus D Digivolve, because that's not leaving the field. Uh, if it's bounced to hand or deck or security, if it's deleted by DP or deleted outright, it is uh, leaving the field. If it leaves the field at all, you play a Black Dragon level 6 or level the level 5s as well uh, from your hand. Because the Black level 5s are the Machine Dragons and the Black level 6s are the Sky Dragons. Um... So yeah, we play two of those. We play one of the old ones because we still do love our old ones. All of our old dragons we still love. Uh, it has on play delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. If no Digimon was deleted, your opponent can't play Digimon with 5k or less DP till the end of the turn. End of their turn. So, you know, using the, the multiple Hinas to pop off, you usually could get a field clear with this. It could usually probably get a field clear with this, too, if they don't have too many things. Um, but if they have a lot of things that have equal the same DP, this one's a little bit better to use. Uh, but the reason we really love this guy is the, the win attacking. If we have a Tamer, win attack. If we have a Tanner, trash the top card from your opponent's security. That's basically a security attack plus one, minus the check. So if, if we swing... If that top card was something that would have killed us, whether it be a Digimon that was higher DP, or whether it be an option card that gets rid of us, we basically avoid it. Um, but that's really why. We, we play we play it at least at one of, uh, for the win attacking. The on play is really, really cool too. Stops them from playing things 5k or less. Um, but yeah, so we play two of the new one, one of the old. And um, we play going to I, I mean I guess I'll use these do these first uh, and then rounding out some red ones we played two Dormix uh, I would love to play more Volcanic and Volcanic's a decent card but this deck really loves Dorbic because Dorbic's on rush and then on play delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3k or less for each card and it's uh, in each card with Dragon, Dragon Kin, all that stuff. Um, and it's traits at 2k, so it could, you know, Digicross, five cards, um, up to, well, five Digimon that with uh, Dragon, let's see, what does it say? Dragon, um, I think it was errata to say Dinosaur, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it works for our deck, because all of our deck's Dragons. Um, Digicross, two, so we put five dragons with different names uh, under the door when we're playing it to reduce this cost by two for every card we're playing. So if we have five cards at two Digicross uh, per, we're reducing the cost by ten, making this cost three. Um, kind of, let's backtrack a little bit. I would love to play more Volcanics, but the deck really needs Dorbic. It really needs Dorbic. It can utilize Dorbic the best uh, to my ability because all of like these are all these are all dragons, and you can typically find them with different names in your hand. These are dragons. Your uh, metallic Dramons are dragons. Um, 
and it helps us get to Ragna really, really easy. And Ragna is more or less our game ender. He's our he's, you know, he's kind of how we close out games. I'd say seventy percent of the time, maybe 60 percent. Um, anyway, he's he's our game ender. So I would love to run more volcanic, um, but we need. I kind of need equal amount of red to go with the equal amount of black for our DNA for Ragna. So this takes up two red spots of our level six. So we only run three volcanics and um, two Dormics. Uh, so moving on to our black dragons, we run three of the new one, which I love this card so much. Um, on play and when attacking, D to evolve four on one of your opponent's Digimon. When did you evolve in? I'm sorry, did I say when did you evolve in? On play when attacking, did you evolve three? When did you evolve in? None of your opponents level four or lower Digimon can did you evolve until the end of their turn. That is a blanket effect, even if they move something out, if they move a rookie out from the breeding area, they cannot did you evolve. Um, <clears throat> or even if it's a level four, yeah, level four or lower. So even if they bring out a level 4, they cannot Digivolve on that level 4 until the end of their turn. And then all turns similar to this, but also not similar, when it leaves the field at all other than our own effects, play a Earth Dragon or... What is it? Earth Dragon or... A Rock Dragon or Earth Dragon from your trash without paying its cost. So keep that in mind. Metallic Dramon plays... These from Trash, Volcanic Dramon, these two Volcanic Dramon, plays any of our Metallic Dramons from Hand. So remember that. Volcanics from Hand, Metallics from Trash. Remember that. And then uh, lastly, because we love our old cars, and I love this because it DDG evolves everything. Uh, all of your opponent's car, uh, Digimon... On play, did you evolve one all of your opponent's Digimon? Then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with five with level with play cost of five or less. If no Digimon was deleted, none of your opponent can uh, your opponent can't digivolve on Digimon that are unsuspended. So again, we're locking them out. We we're not letting them digivolve. We're not letting them complete. We're making them basically opt to rookie rush or low level. Um, stuff because they cannot digivolve on unsuspended stuff. I want to say that includes DNA digivolving. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check with my judge on that. I'm pretty sure it is though because it is still digivolving. Um, but yeah, so it digivolves everything by one. So this digi digivolves one thing by four and then doesn't kill something um, but stuns them from digivolving uh level 5 and above and then this D digivolves all of their stuff by 1 and then kills something play cost 5 or less and then if nothing was de uh, destroyed uh, they can't digivolve on something that's unsuspended and then opponent's turn if I have a tamer it gains a blocker and reboot so we're able to swing with it if it lives we have a blocker for next turn so that's all for our level 6's 5 blacks 5 reds uh, trying to keep it as equal as we can for our Ragna. And then moving on to the last two Digimon, two Ragna. Uh, like I said, it's you know it's it's kind of our boss monster. It's kind of what we're trying to close games out with. It's a uh, day day Digivolve, a red and black level six. When Digivolving, it gains Blitz, and then if Diddy day Digi DNA Digivolving. For every four cards of the Digimon's Digi Evolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with play cost of 20 or less and trash the top security uh, card of your opponent's security. All turns when an opponent, when a card is removed from a player's security stack, that's mine and your opponent's included, you, you and your opponent's included, unsuspend this Digimon. So, you know, if we get on top, just kind of go through this real quick. I'm trying not to make I'm trying to make these these videos not last as long um, as they usually do. All 
Okay. Let's set up a field real quick. Let's say we have this on the field. Just from last uh, previous turn, uh, we played it with the Volcanic Dramon from our hand. Uh, our Volcanic Dramon died. We played this for free. It's on the field of whatever. Um, we go to Dorbic. We give Dorbic five cards with different names. So, it doesn't really matter how you put them. Making him three costs. Let's say it's still our turn. Um, if you want, you know you can swing. You know, he is big. He's got 12k, 12. Uh, he's got an on play, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So he's 17, two hits. Um, if you want to swing with them, you could. Um, but typically, we would go right here. Um, DNA Digivolve, um, you know, it's got Blitz. So even if we pass turn, it'll swing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't have the eight, but we're able to kill one, two, three, four. So we have four sources. For every four sources, delete something. 20k or less, so your opponent's side. So we'll delete something, trash the card, and then we'll still have our swing. Uh, it's going to be security attack plus one. Uh, these are your turns, so the Ragna do, does get these. Um, it just doesn't get the... Because uh, it doesn't have an on-play. But uh, basically, that helps us. The Dorbic helps us, you know, pile on stuff for our Ragna effect. And uh, But that's typically kind of the game in there, you know? Because, you know, doing the DNA Digivolving, they'll tr we'll, let's say we delete... Typically, we'll have um, eight or eight is usually the seven's the lowest I've had. Um, but typically, you'll have eight, so you'll kill two things, trash top two security, and then blitz. So you know that's that's three checks and just one Ragna. Um, we played two just to see it. We'll only we'll only ever usually slap one down. If we slap one down, we go for it and we don't win. Typically. At that point, it's kind of, we'll either win next turn or they got it. You know, it, it, it really depends. And then lastly, our Tamers. Hina makes the world go round. Hina makes the deck function, makes the deck work. Hina says, start of your turn. If your opponent has a Digimon in play, gain a memory. And your turn, when one of your Digimon digivolves into a Rock Dragon, Herb Dragon, Machine Dragon, or Sky Dragon, you may suspend this Tamer to activate that Digimon's on play effects. So Hina basically makes their on-play effects turn into when digivolving effects. So one thing I'll just kind of show you guys, uh, just to make it quick, going back to like that. Let's say let's say we do that. Coming from a level five, we have two Hinas on the field. We've got a Lava Garita Mon on the field. We'll D Digi we'll Evo for the four. Uh, we have on-play. We'll suspend one Hina. We will activate that on play, just as if it was a, dis a, dig dig digivolve, uh, a wind digivolving. So for the first Hina, we'll delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest play cost. If the Digimon was deleted, they put a can't play 5k or less DP uh, till the end of their turn. So we'll delete everything with the lowest uh, DP. And then if we want, we could do another Hina in the same instance, and then the field will recheck it again. So let's just say, you know, let's just say it's a mirror match, whatever. Let's say we're going against Dragon Links. And we play Lava Garitamon. We'll do the Hina. The first Hina is going to kill the lowest DP. So it's going to kill the Jazzermon. And then we'll do the second Hina. And it'll kill the second Jazzermon because now it's the lowest. Now, if we've had a third Hina, we could activate all three of them in the instance. Now, since there's nothing to delete, we can't play, our opponent can't play Digimon with 5k or less until the end of their turn. Because it says, delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. If no Digimon was deleted, your opponent can't play Digimon with 5k or less DP until the end of their turn. So, you could use multiple Hinas on one card. You just 
you resolve them one by one, basically. So, you would boom, kill everything, boom, delete everything, and then, you know, typically you can do a field wipe. Um, also, you can, you can kind of do the field wipe with this. Actually, no, you can't. Because it's not a, it's not a uh, herb dragon, rock dragon, or rock dragon. So, the Hina's only work for the dragons. Keep that in mind. Not Dorbic. Um, but yeah, so just, just letting you know, you can use multiple Hina's in one instance. And then our last Tamer, just to kind of have us... Um, you know, I, honestly, I had one slot open. Uh, didn't really know what to add. I thought about the Shade Ramon. But I felt like... A lot of these effects you need tamers for, like uh, this, the you know, the wind attacking if you have a tamer, trash top security, um, and the other one was our old metallic, if we have a tamer it gets reboot and blocker, so I, I figured, usually we see Hina's, but just four tamers wasn't enough. And memory setters are always good. So I opted for the tie. The black tie. Why not the hero? The red hero to make my dudes bigger. I chose to go with the tie for defense reasons. So it's start of turn, start of three. And then all turns, when an attack target is switched, so it's even if I attack my opponent and they switch, if they, do, if they block or something, I could still do the effect. Um, when it attack all turns when an attack target is changed or switched by suspending this tamer, I draw one and one of my Digimon get 2k. So it helps in this instance when this is a blocker. It helps in this instance if I can find it. When an attack target is switched. So, that's just something to think about. It, it, it helps defensively. And, I mean, we have four of this and two of this. So, that's six instances we can change the attack. Also, it helps whenever I'm attacking them. It's kind of like a hero, only if they use a blocker or if they redirect the attack. Just to mean, I'll still get the 2K. Um, but it also helps me draw a card. So, defensively speaking, I like this tie. If I had room for it, um, I would think about doing a hero as well, just to kind of have both. Um, that way we could have a 2K offensively and a 2K defensively. But um, honestly, so real quick, let's, let's close out this video um, with quick, what would I change? What would I change about this deck? Um... Honestly, if I could, the reliance on Hina's. But, you know, that's fine. That's just the name of the game. That's the deck. That's how the deck works. Um, I've played the deck without the Dorbic Ragna. It's fine. It's just not as fast. It's not as... Wow. You know, it's not It's not so... Captivating, I guess you could say. I, I, don't, I really don't know a word for it. Um, one thing I would change is uh, finding space somewhere, which it's, I, I don't know, um, for a hero to give us an extra memory setter. Um, Analog Youth is another thing that I would love to find room for. Uh, Crimson Blaze. I know we have like nine level fives. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, yeah, okay, I know we have nine level fives, and that could give us our room, but honestly, I wanted a little bit, I wanted a little bit more dragons somewhere for the Dorbix, and our rookies were pretty full and fine, our level fours were pretty full and fine, so I felt like... Maybe a level five, an extra level five would have been okay. 
And it's been working fine for me, you know, with the Dorvik, uh, just to have an extra dragon to use for Dorvik uh, with a different name. So, honestly, I mean, very minimal would I change. Um, it's a lot, a lot of things that I would love to change are out of my hands. Like I said, the reliance on Hina. Um, the reliance on Dorvik and Ragna, to be honest with you. Like, I, I wish um, the deck wasn't as fair as it is, I guess you could say. I wish there was more, a little, a little bit more broken about it, but that's just me. That's just you know me wanting one of my favorite decks that I play just to be better. You know, that's just me. That's just um, wishful thinking, like the song says, "The King of Wishful Thinking." Anyway, so yeah, that is the deck profile. We love this deck so much. It's so much fun underline bold italics i know i've said it's fun a lot in this video but it's just it just is i'm sorry um when the support got revealed i was so stoked for it ex7 had a lot of things i wanted to build this was one of them um another profile we have coming is zvagamon uh i have tyrant mon coming I do have another one of my favorite decks to play right now. Let me just kind of highlight this real quick. That I'm honestly not going to give you guys a profile for. Because it's honestly 98% of every other list you've seen on the internet. On the Facebook. On the, that Facebook. YouTube. Um, and that's Magna uh, Ancient Guru. I love playing this deck so much. Um... The Uko hit really didn't hurt it that much. Um, we just we swapped out three uh, Ukos for more red for the red base because this is a red base. Um, Garurumon deck. We swapped out we swapped the Geomons uh, for the Ukos. We still have Muchos. Um, we have one Hammer Spark now, one Louis, but I mean the deck's still fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you this deck profile because, like I said, it's 98 percent of what you see on the internet already. Um, but I will give you guys a tyrant deck list, tyrant commentary deck list, and I will give you guys a Zephagamon deck list as well. Um, coming soon. I don't know if it's gonna be before or after this video. Um, honestly, I'm so behind on stuff. I, I, I've Needed to get content on the channel for a while, so I'm just kind of throwing three deck profiles the same day. I don't know what order I'm going to upload them in. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to upload them all on the same day. I might, you know, whatever. But anyway, so that's just something to... Hey. Well, delicate plan. Um, you can add that to the deck too if you want. Uh, anyway, so that's the, the Dragon Wings deck profile. I love this deck. It's super fun. Sorry I keep saying that, but it is. Try it out. It's not that expensive to build. Um, and it's super fun. It's just heavily reliant on that Hina. It's the only thing. Um, we want those on plays to activate. We, there's a lot of good on plays, and we want them to activate. And Hina just helps them, you know, Hina makes the deck grow up. So anyway... That's the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let it break 2CG. Give us a like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you change. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me some, you know, uh, give me some thoughts. Give me some feedback on uh, what you want to see. Uh, stuff about the deck, things you'd add. Um, games that you would want to see. Uh, maybe this deck go against. And um, until next time, let me break 2CG. Peace.